I haven't been productive in like a week. And that's bad. This is the first time of me being productive um, like in a week and it's really bad because like I hate myself for it. And that's really, that's a really fun place to be in. I didn't even want to do this. I was literally laying on my bed watching YouTube, specifically Boy in a Band because I feel like I've been relating to him a lot recently in the sense of like feeling like depressed and stuff like that. And there's just like a lot of factors on my mind. A lot of stress currently, a lot of like pressure from like every area in my life. And also the weather's getting colder. And that also makes me feel sad because um, I can't bike right now. And then it's like just a lot of stuff, a lot of personal stuff that's upcoming in the next few years that I'm stressed out about, stressed out about money, stressed out about if I'm making enough money, stressed out about like life stuff, marriage type stuff in the future, stuff like um, feeling overworked. I, I've literally overworked myself into like a depression of some sort. And it's weird because usually around this year, it happens like once a year where I feel just like depressed. And it's just, it's so stupid because there's a lot of different factors. It's not just one thing. So because of a mix of things, I overthink things and then I feel just like, I, I just feel bad. So I felt like garbage for like a week at this point. And it's frustrating because I, it's, it's made me lose motivation with any type of work with client work and my work specifically i feel like i could edit my stuff but i haven't really tried because i've just felt out of it um i'm stressed because i have multiple deadlines for multiple client projects and i feel like i'm not gonna make the deadlines because i i barely started on it which is bad and it's just like stressed out about that which means i gotta work all day but at the same time like i feel like i have no energy like I feel like I only have like one hour of energy like a day now, which sucks because like that's not enough time to finish anything. So that's bad. Like I'm afraid of losing one client in particular that's been like my main one simply because of like there's a lot of projects that need to get done, but I am just not in the mental space or energy space. But then it's like, am I just being dumb? Am I just like overthinking? Am I just like being lazy? I don't think I'm being lazy because usually I'm on top of things and I, I work myself so hard. I'm probably overworked. <laughs> Working myself into a depression. I think that's really weird because it's cause like I'm happy. Like I love my job. I love, you know, my relationship with my girlfriend. I love my family. I love everything about life. But at the same time, I feel like I've kind of like overworked myself into like this weird mental state where I just feel stressed all the time and I feel anxious and just worried about everything all the time. Um, and that's not good. Um, it's so weird because like my video has like 1K views in a week now almost at this point. And it's really weird because it's like after that happened, like I felt this like weird sense. And it's not because of like my new video or anything, which is weird. It's just weird coincidence. Um, and also been dealing with like some identity issues involving my creativity because I don't like when people call me like a Jakey clone because it just hurts me creatively, like mentally, because then it's like I've, I try so hard to be like original. I, I ranted on Twitter about it because I was so fed up and I was also feeling this way. Uh, I, I don't know what to do here because it's like, actually I know what to do here. It's just very, very hard to do because I've been off my physical health, been off mental health, been off spiritual health, like reading my Bible, talking to God, been off that, and that's not good. So it's just like a bunch of things that I haven't been doing that have probably like spiraled into why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. Um, I just don't want to do anything. I just want to cry in a black hole alone for like a month. <laughs> that's all I want to do. But then I have all this stress all of the time because since I'm an entrepreneur, and I have my own business, right? Everything's on me all of the time. And so it's like, there's never really an off switch besides like at the end of the day for like an hour or two. I'm just stressed and worried and anxious. I'm not looking at the camera as much either as you can tell, cause eye contact, ah, that's fun. But there's been, there's an alarm going off and I don't know if John's up, John is the one whose alarm's going off. <laughs> um, so I apologize for that, but I am so like, 
it's weird because it's like I, I, when I get in this weird mental space, I always overthink life in general, and I'm like, life is tiring sometimes, and I'm in that spell right now where it's like I don't want to do anything. I just want to like do nothing, but I want to do everything at the same time because I always want to work hard all of the time. But I think because of that, it's led to this weird mental state of me just feeling mentally dead all of the time now, which sucks. I guess it's possible to overwork yourself to the point of depression. I didn't know that was possible, but I guess it is. That's weird because that's never, and that's the weird thing. Like I've never, I've never heard that before. Like working yourself to the point where you just feel depressed. Like, I, 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 I've never heard that in my entire life, but apparently it's possible. But maybe I'm just stressed about everything in my life currently. I don't even know. Like, I don't even know I'm recording this. Like, because, like, I don't want to, but, like, I want to get it out um, of me and my head. Even though I have talked to multiple people about it already, it just feels like... It, when when stuff starts affecting my creativity or like mentally I feel like it should be something that I talk about in general um, cuz it it cuz like it affects my creativity and then it's obvious that it's affecting my creativity cuz like I also have had two this is another weird stress I've had two projects two big projects in the works one of them I've been working on since like July or something one of them I started working on like last month. The one in July, like it's it involves multiple people, still not done, and it's like I it should be done by now. Like I should be ed I should have been editing it in the time, but I've just felt like bad, in general. Um, and then, <laughs> to top it all off, I decided I would say, hey friend, because one of my friends, um, somebody bailed out on him of a collaboration and I had a day where I was doing nothing. I'm like, yo, hit me up. First of all, I didn't realize how many lines there were. And second of all, it was, I now feel stress from my friend cause he's waiting for me to record my portion of the video. So that's now another stress on my mind that when I was already feeling just like depressed and I'm like, oh, this will be something nice I can do in my spare time. But no, now I just feel more stress. So I just feel stress in every single aspect of my life, like personally, mentally, like physically, spiritually, relationally, both with friends and my girlfriend. I just, there's just so much pressure every single way. And then I'm also fed up because I want to move because I've been in the same house all of my life, same hometown, never moved ever. And I'm just feeling like so just dead. I feel that I don't feel alive and I haven't felt alive in a while and that's probably not good and I've been trying to figure out ways to fix that but it's just it, I I've taken basically accidentally a week off because I was talking to my friend Mateo he's like yeah you're burnt out take a week off so I basically did that at this point but I feel the same like I don't feel like anything's really changed I thought I was doing good today and then like an hour after I wake up feeling like garbage again so I'm like what's going on here I've taken a ton of time off do I need more time off or do I need to really figure out why it's happening? And I don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. And um, it sucks. And then also regarding one of the big projects, somebody I've been trying to get an interview for for like two months now. Like I still haven't interviewed him for this project, but it's an integral part of the project and I need him to, I need to interview him so that way I, I can actually get his perspective. Otherwise the media that I'm making won't be as objective because like that, that was the whole point of the project going into it. So I needed to talk to like one of the employees at least and interview them and get their perspective because I wanted somebody on the inside talking about the thing. I'm just, I just fed up with life in general and it's cause like I want to do so much and I wish I accomplished so much already, but I'm not there yet and it's frustrating because I've worked on like my stuff for so many years at this point that I just feel like it's not going anywhere and I don't know if it's because I just need to keep doing it or if it's because I need to change something. I don't know. 
But either way, I don't feel 100% original with my content. So therefore, I feel like I need to change it, even though I don't necessarily want to change it. But I feel like I need to in the sense of I want to get to a point where people can look at my videos and be like, oh, wow, this is 100% original. I, don't, I can't name a single person who this is like. So I'm going to subscribe because it's unique. Because if all I get in comments nowadays is, is oh, this I love the Jakey energy. It's like, <sighs> great. Great, because I'm, I'm making, we don't even do the same thing like subject wise. It's only because we both use green screens. We were both standing in front of green screens and make jokes. Like that's it. And it's like, if you actually compare it side by side, it's, n it's not, it's not similar. It really isn't. Like if you actually compare it side by side, it's vastly different. Two vastly different personalities, tones, energy levels. It's like, ugh. I just want to lay down on this bed and like just watch YouTube because <laughs> I am just so mentally done. I'm probably, I am, I, I am burned out. I think that's obvious, but it's just like, at what point do I try to go back into working? Cause like if I don't edit for clients, I don't get money, right? So that's kind of the other dumb thing. Thankfully, I'm in a fortunate enough position where I'm still living with my family, so that's not as much of a stress, but it's still future stress. Cause obviously, I need money if I move out and stuff like that. <sighs> and I just wish I could do my stuff full time, but that is something that is very hard to do especially with my stuff so i don't expect that to really gain that much traction until like way later in the future like 10 years or something because i don't know i feel like i wouldn't be as stressed if it was just like my stuff because that because i would be like the full boss and everything instead of having to worry about losing clients because i'm afraid i'm gonna lose this one client that has been most of my work recently and the most the client that comes to me the most, afraid of losing that, but also I just feel like I can't deal with any stress right now, which is just bad. I don't even know if I'm going to post this because I don't feel like doing anything. I'm not even going to edit this, honestly, because I just can't. I just, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to do anything at all. Nothing interests me right now. Everything is boring, which is bad and makes no sense. Makes no freaking sense. <sighs> Maybe I just need a vacation. <laughs> Take me away to a log cabin for a month, please, where I have no stress and I'm alone and it's quiet. That's that's what I want, dude. I want I want to yeah. That would be the best vacation ever. Log cabin in the woods that's like 5 minutes away from the store. Oh my gosh, that would be like the most relaxing thing ever. Maybe this was selfish. Maybe this was selfish of me talking about this for so long. Maybe it's selfish of me to vent to a camera. Maybe it's selfish of me to just like talk about me. Because I don't like talking about me when it comes to public creativity. Because I feel like that takes away from the creative thing. So I kind of feel bad for like talking about it in general, but then I don't know. I feel the same. Like I've just been talking about it for like 13, 14 minutes. I feel exactly the same. So that didn't help. <laughs> That's fun. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's seasonal affective uh, disorder or whatever where I just feel sad in, in colder months because that's been a trend year after year. Maybe it's just that I don't know anymore. I don't think it's just that. There's just a lot of stress in my life, and I hate it, and I hate myself for not being productive. Ha! Uh, yeah, I feel like garbage when I'm unproductive, so when I'm not unproductive for an entire week, that's just bad. you think that taking a break would help, but it really hasn't, mostly because I still have that stress of getting things done or needing to get things done. That's probably why I feel terrible. Um, and I thought yesterday, like near the end of yesterday, I was actually feeling really good. And then today hit, and I even woke up at like 6.30 like I normally do. And like I was 
feeling productive and then around like nine or ten my brain's like you feel like garbage and i'm like bruh we just started i was literally just about to start client work and then you're like you feel miserable you feel depressed just like an automatic switch i didn't even have to say anything like it just happened and i'm like are you kidding me dude we have to work today because if we don't then we're gonna miss a freaking deadline you idiot you're such an idiot uh it's so dumb it's so stupid who knew that you could love every single part of your life but still feel depressed? Wow, crazy. You want to know why? Because of stress. If I didn't have stress, I wouldn't feel this freaking way. Also been dealing with just lower back uh, aching stuff. So that's also just uh, it's a lot of stuff right now. A lot of freaking stuff that I just don't want to deal with. But I kind of have to because that's life. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do at this point. Am I supposed to just suck it up or am I supposed to take a, a different kind of step to fix it? I don't even know, dude. How fun. So, yeah, don't overwork yourself or you may become depressed. That's the lesson here. Why do I always do that? I hate, yeah. I always try so hard, like at the end of everything I do to have this message of like, oh, it's, it's, you should be careful what you see on the internet. Oh, you know, um, do good art. Oh, you know, what was the point of the bounty battle? Oh, just because a lot of people say it's bad doesn't mean it's necessarily bad because of opinions. Wow. You shouldn't judge a book by its bad reviews. Wow. And it's like, why? Well, Maybe the point is, hey, people feel bad sometimes and that's okay. No, Ethan, the point should be, hey, don't overwork yourself and take time for yourself when you can because it may end up uh, depressing you because you're stressed and overworked. Maybe don't be overworked. Well, gee, thanks, Ethan. That really helps now. Much appreciated. <laughs>